Hello, I'm Laramar Creative. Happy Lunar Eclipse! Today is a Lunar Eclipse. This is a moon lamp that I have. July 16, 2019. Uh, we are having Lunar Eclipse in Capricorn. Doesn't matter if you watch this video after the Lunar Eclipse because this energy is going to be strongly active for the next six months and it's going to keep having impact on our life and the world for the upcoming years. So first, I want to share my insights and what came up during the meditation. Last night, I did a meditation uh, on this lunar eclipse and I was drawn to pick Shivalingam from my crystal collection. For those of you who can't see it, here you are. So. Shiva Lingam is a very grounding stone, as you can see from the color of brown. But this is very special crystal. I mean, what else is not special? But this can be found only in one place on the planet. And that is this river in India. And because it's found in river side, all raw forms of Shiva Lingam is like this egg shape. It is known for the embodiment of the integration of yin and yang, masculine and feminine energy. So it's very powerful. It's a stone of manifestation, very grounding. Uh, it can bring stability and security to your auric fields if you meditate with this crystal. Also, because it's found in the river, in astrology, a river is represented by Scorpio. So Shiva Lingam has Scorpionic energy in it. And what is Scorpio? Scorpio is all about transformation, life reversal changes, big shifts, psychology, um, deep consciousness. It's the stone of transition. Um, but at the same time, it's very grounding and stable. So during the meditation, I felt the vibe of this kind of predictable changes. So nothing out of control. Every eclipse marks an ending of some sort and beginning of some sort. And especially lunar eclipse is a culmination of what uh, has been growing so far. And it's like a turning point of a subject matter or event. So. It's not completely ending, but this is the demarcation that determines the turning point of some sort. So the changes that are followed by this lunar eclipse, I feel that people, you will make sense of the changes that you're supposed to implement. You already know what you need to do. I don't think it's going to be uh, out of control. You already know. It's just a matter of taking actions, actually executing those changes that are necessary. So that was what I felt during the meditation. And this doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the changes are going to be slow paced. I don't necessarily think that. The pace of change itself may be different for everyone, of course, because Eclipse sets the tone of the year. We have about four to five uh, eclipses every year, and those ecliptic events determine the overall energy of the year. And they have impacts not only on the personal level, but on the collective level. So it applies to societal levels, corporate levels, and country levels. So uh, whatever that is going through right now, um, people are drawn to making changes and this is about structural changes. The changes followed by this lunar eclipse, I think, is going to bring more stability and security in your life and in our uh, system in our community, society. That's what I felt from this meditation regarding the lunar eclipse. 
Yeah, so very grounding stone. So now I want to look at the chart of this lunar eclipse. By the way, this month of July is very intense because we have two eclipses and Mercury is in retrograde. So the overall energies are pretty slow and the best approach you would have during this period is to go with the flow, not forcing your wheels to make things happen because right now uh, it's the time we are in the middle of changes and in the middle of eye of typhoon we need to stay still yeah be alert so focus more on your intuitive side uh, focus on receiving the information allowing things to happen instead of forcing and directing your force All right, so we have lunar eclipse in Capricorn 24th degree and there are three other important points or planets. And this lunar eclipse is coupled with retrograding Saturn and South Node aka Ketu and Pluto. Pluto is also in retrograded motion. So what does that mean? Definitely, this is a time to let go of old systems. Uh, actually, that this is the year that we need to do. And what we are letting go is the old pattern, old way of doing things, old way of operating ourselves. That's not really helping us moving forward. And for everyone, it's going to be different. But who's going to be... Uh, affected very strongly by this lunar eclipse this month obviously cancer and capricorn so for those of you who have cancer as a rising sign or sun moon or multiple planets in cancer and same goes to capricorn this month is going to be a life reversal time for those who have strong cancer influence in their chart with this lunar eclipse, you're going to change the way you interact with others because the lunar eclipse falls on your seventh house. And seventh house represents your relationship with other people, other beings, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. So uh, the way you approach others can be transformed significantly. And if there is any way that was not so much efficient and effective uh, regarding um, connecting to others or if there was any blockage in relationship this is a time of dissolution those blocks will be cleared out so very healing and beautiful for those of you who have capricorn as a rising sign moons or sun multiple planets in capricorn this is going to be also very transformative Basically, you could review your entire life and start letting go of what's not really helping you, whether it be your habits or your diet or the way you think, your belief systems, the type of people you hang out with. And through this process, you'll be able to make sense of who you really are you're gonna gain you're gonna be able to gain your true identity and become more independent find this inner clarity so but this eclipse applies to everyone so find out in which house you have this lunar eclipse all right so back to the chart so it's helping you have a structural changes in life in some part of your life and right now Mercury is in retrograde and loosely conjunct with Sun and Mars Sun Venus and North Node aka Rahu are coupled all together to me this is really good this is really beautiful 
So, and they are all in the sign of Cancer. So, you can have a lot of inspirations, inner inspiration, by focusing on your feeling. Your sensitivity is heightened. Like, and this is true, and this, and this applies to everyone on a collective level. So, instead of finding a way or a solution from the outside, turn within and really um, reflect yourself. Because Cancer is ruled by Moon, and Moon is a reflective celestial body. It's not radiating the light by itself, it, re it reflects the light from the sun. So, yeah, reflect yourself, and you'll be able to have a lot of inspirations. And Neptune is sending an easy aspect, twine aspects, to Sun, Rahu, and Venus. So that means the more you incorporate visualization, your imagination skills, because Neptune is the planet of ideality, illusion, dreams. So use your imagination skills and really uh, try to connect with your inner self because by doing so, you can easily find what feels right for you and it's going to help you let go of the old system, old way of doing things or get rid of old stuffs in your life, old people that you are not vibing with anymore or it could be a job or a project, anything but you know what to do so and also it could be just a way of organizing stuff and working so this lunar eclipse represents a karmic release you're gonna be able to release the old stuff, your old emotions that has been always there on your subconsciousness and this is a time that everything gets heightened and amplified so so it's not uncommon that uh, people feel intense emotions, whether it's sadness, anger, or all types of negative emotions. But know that this emotion surface up so you can process it. Most of the time, it's been buried in your subconsciousness and it was subtle. It was so subtle to catch what it is but now it's amplified. So instead of lingering on those negative emotions, if they arise at all, just acknowledge it and find what makes you feel liberated. Find what makes you feel a little bit better. It could be, doesn't matter how trivial it may seem like. It could be just taking a nap or going for a walk and going out and having a fine dining, pampering yourself, or it could be just like taking a break from social media or journaling or reading books, having a quality alone time, nourishing yourself with high quality food. It could be anything, like it could be just like taking a day off and doing whatever you want to do, taking a mini vacation, so focus on what can nourish your inner child, what can make you feel better, just a little bit better. That's going to help you figure out in which direction you are supposed to be headed towards. And you know that. Deep inside of you, you already know it. All these ecliptic energies, uh, the stars are aligned for you to make this necessary changes so I hope this is helpful and have a good lunar eclipse and have a great day and let me know if you resonated with it and by the way I am for those of you who don't know what I do I am a fashion designer and this is one of the uh, one of the style that I designed it's part of animal spirit collection yeah, so check out my website, goldenamber.net. I make women's wear and gender-neutral street wear as well. And I will put a link below uh, for those of you who want to have discounts. So, 
I hope you have a great day and thank you.